Chosen ones, there's a powerful message here. Someone you trusted has wronged you deeply, and the truth is finally surfacing. This wasn't just a small betrayal. Someone close to you, a trusted figure, has taken something valuable, something that was rightfully yours. They thought they could get away with it, thought their deception could remain hidden, but the truth is emerging undeniable and vivid. Now it's time for justice. They held a pivotal role in your life, a figure who once stood beside you like an unwavering pillar, offering what felt like steadfast support. Perhaps it was a parent, a sibling, or someone who assumed the mantle of a trusted confidant. You shared moments, beliefs, and vulnerabilities, unknowingly handing them a key to your innermost self, a part of your world few others ever touch. Now, that very trust, carefully built and reverently preserved, is being shattered by their actions. Their facade is slipping. You begin noticing strange signs, a glimpse of extravagance where once there was simplicity, new possessions that scream of a lifestyle shift too sudden, too sharp. They carry themselves differently now, not with pride but with a furtive glint, a shadow behind their gaze. It's in their gestures, their carefully avoided words, their anxious glances when they think you're not looking. You might catch the scent of deception like an insidious poison in the air, heavy and oppressive, staining what was once pure and close to you. They've taken something precious, not a mere item, but something that held significance, something woven into the fibers of your own aspirations or identity. They stole a piece of what was rightfully yours, exploiting the bond you thought was sacred, turning it into a tool for their gain. They may try to cover it up, hiding beneath layers of empty reassurances or hollow smiles, but each word now carries a weight that cannot be ignored. Their possession of what was yours is a silent, ever-present accusation, a reminder of their betrayal masked by deceit. Look closely, and you'll find the trail of their deception. There are traces they couldn't hide, small clues that expose the rot within, the unchecked receipts, whispered conversations, the laughter that holds no warmth when they think themselves safe. It's not just the material change, it's a whole shift in their presence, the way they maneuver around you with the grace of a thief afraid of being caught. They dance around the truth, shielding it behind veils of secrecy, but the truth is breaking through, unavoidable and raw. This betrayal cuts deeper because it comes from within, from someone who wielded their power as protector and confidant to siphon what belonged to you. You may feel the wounds sharpen as awareness dawns, as each memory you revisit, each piece of trust you placed in them, echoes with a sting, tarnished by the knowledge of what they've done. They thought they could bury the truth, bury you beneath the weight of their lies, but now their fortress of deceit crumbles stone by stone. And here you stand, surrounded by fragments of what once was, illuminated by the harsh clarity of their wrongdoing, preparing to confront the reality of a betrayal that sought to break you from the inside out. They had a choice, to uphold truth and loyalty or plunge headlong into the hollow depths of greed. Integrity lay open before them, shining with the clear light of honesty and mutual respect, a path rooted in the bonds they claimed to cherish. But they turned from it. They let their hunger for gain drown out the quiet voice of conscience, allowing greed to wrap around their heart like a poisonous vine, squeezing out the trust they had once inspired in you. Their choice exposed who they truly are. A seed of corruption bloomed, spreading insidiously, casting a shadow over every encounter, every promise, every word they ever spoke to you. They became an empty shell, driven not by values, but by a consuming need to take, to hoard, to amass, you see it in how they avoid genuine connection now, how they evade your eyes, knowing that in the depths of their gaze lies the naked face of betrayal. They're caught in a net of their own making, threads woven by lies, their own desperate attempt to cling to the illusion they crafted. Each interaction with them now reeks of falseness, the stale residue of trust betrayed. Their once welcoming demeanor is tainted with the stench of deceit. Even their laughter has lost its warmth reduced to a hollow echo, a mockery of what was once shared. Greed does not just consume wealth, it consumes character, leaving behind nothing but an insatiable appetite 
and the ever-present fear of exposure. They tread carefully now, not out of respect, but from the paralyzing dread that their deceit will slip through the cracks and shatter the carefully built facade. They act now as though every step is laden with glass shards, each lie sharpened, waiting to expose their true motives if they step too carelessly. The weight of their deception grows, visible in the slight quiver of their hands, the nervous hesitation that punctuates every answer. They mask it poorly, unable to realize that greed has left its unmistakable brand upon them, and that those who once held them dear now see through the thin veil they desperately cling to. They thought they could escape consequence, that greed could be contained without consequence. But greed has spread through them like a slow, corrosive poison, a self-inflicted decay, gnawing at every word, every hollow gesture, every sidelong glance. Integrity, now distant and lost, hovers just beyond their reach. A distant light they abandoned in favor of something more seductive, something more self-serving. And now that choice has marked them unmistakably, no longer trustworthy, no longer worthy of the loyalty they once demanded. You see them clearly now with the scales lifted, with their true nature bared to the light. They chose their path, and in that choice, they severed the bond of integrity between you. And now, all that remains is the brittle silence of unspoken truths, and the knowledge that greed, once it takes root, cannot coexist with loyalty or respect. This betrayal isn't just yours to carry. Its weight echoes through the very foundation of your family, spreading like cracks across stone, threatening to shatter bonds once thought unbreakable. They struck where it would hurt the most, a calculated move into the heart of what was meant to remain sacred. This wasn't a small betrayal. It wasn't something that could be brushed aside. It is a ripple that, once set in motion, surges outward, colliding with the lives of those who never asked for such turmoil, reshaping the landscape of your family in irreversible ways. They tore into something precious, something as foundational as family inheritance, a legacy meant to be cherished, preserved, and passed down with respect. They reached in and took from it, tainting what was supposed to be a shared blessing with their greed, contaminating memories, severing loyalties. Their actions resonate through generations, stealing from those not yet born, robbing the family of shared pride, shared security, shared trust. What should have symbolized unity now serves as a stark reminder of betrayal. The inheritance they distorted was more than just a sum of material wealth. It was a lineage, a trust woven from shared lives and sacrifices. And with one selfish choice, they fractured it all. This choice of theirs, this act of self-serving deceit, is now the unspoken ghost within the family. Conversations strain under its invisible weight. Glances exchanged hold the unuttered grief and outrage of those betrayed. Their betrayal has left an indelible mark, an undeniable stain that creeps into every gathering, every shared memory, every fragment of what once held meaning. It is a chasm that pulls people apart, a dark chasm where love once thrived. This betrayal cuts to the bone. You look at those around you, and you see the pain they too are shouldering. The trust that once knit everyone together has unraveled, thread by painful thread. It is not only you who feel the ache, it is the whole family who bears this burden, the whole family that grieves for what was lost. There's a hollow in the air, a silence that was once filled by laughter and shared memories, now tainted by a betrayal so profound that it silences joy. In the wake of their actions, every shared moment feels altered, every family heirloom a reminder of what was betrayed. You and those around you carry the weight of this loss, a loss that extends beyond material wealth, beyond inheritance, into the very heart of what it means to trust, to love, to be part of something greater than oneself. This was a bond meant to survive all trials, and yet here it stands, bruised, frayed, and weakened by the selfishness of one who could not honor what was given freely. Their betrayal is not a singular act, but an enduring scar, one that will linger in the stories you tell, in the legacy forever altered by their choice to take rather than to preserve. If you're struggling with the impact of betrayal and feel its weight, 
The obsidian inner order powered by Astral Atom is here to support you. Inside, you'll gain access to the modern manifestation mechanics to transform every echo of pain into resilience and to turn the turmoil into a force that strengthens you from within. With over 400 others on this journey, you'll find the tools and support you need to rise. The link is in the description. You may have sensed it already, the faint tremor beneath their words, the subtle fracture in their mask. Intuition, that ancient and powerful force within you, stirs at moments of deception, even before you have concrete proof. It's there, a steady pulse in the background, hinting that something is fundamentally wrong. Perhaps it's surfaced in moments of silence or in sudden flashes, a heaviness, a whisper at the edge of consciousness, urging you to look closer, to question. You felt it in the undercurrents of their presence, in the way their laughter felt hollow, a shallow echo that failed to reach their eyes. This instinct, this finely tuned awareness, is the voice of clarity rising to warn you, to tell you that the surface story conceals a darker truth. This feeling wasn't mere paranoia. It was your truth-knowing self, reaching out from within to shield you. Dreams may have woven themselves into cryptic warnings, scenes where their deceit played out in shadows, revealing what your waking mind was reluctant to accept. Such visions are not coincidence. They're messages from the depths of awareness, where truth denied by the surface insists on being seen. Your intuition knows, and it will not allow you to ignore the truth indefinitely. And know this, karma is unyielding. They have stepped onto a path of consequence, and the universe has already begun to reshape itself around their actions. Karma doesn't forget, and it doesn't spare those who sow betrayal into the lives of others. They are now bound to the weight of what they've done, and that weight will follow them, creeping into every aspect of their life. As the ripples of their betrayal spread, they find themselves standing alone, isolated not by circumstance, but by the force of their own actions coming full circle. Karma's hand is precise, moving like a shadow at dawn, silently but surely uncovering the truth. They may try to outrun it, seeking solace in new circles, cloaking themselves in false affections, but they cannot hide from the consequence of their choices. The same intuition that guided you will act as an unseen force in their lives, revealing them for what they are, turning allies into strangers and leaving them to face the full extent of their actions. In every relationship they touch, there will be a fracture, an unease that grows as others begin to see through the cracks in their facade. They believe they could rewrite reality, alter trust, manipulate belief, but karma works tirelessly, holding them to the promises they shattered and the trust they abused. The repercussions are not simply poetic justice, they are a profound isolation, an unraveling that no words or apologies can repair. While they are left to confront the hollowness of what they've sown, you stand strengthened by your intuition and clarity, secure in the knowledge that truth, like karma, is relentless and cannot be denied. Their betrayal has entered the realm where words and apologies hold no weight. It has crossed the threshold into action and consequence, demanding the steady hand of justice. This is no longer a wound that time alone can heal, for their actions have trespassed into legal domains where the pursuit of justice becomes both a right and a necessity. They believed they could tread on trust, perhaps thinking the law would never catch up. But truth stands taller, unwavering, drawing their deceit into the open. This moment requires a calm, calculating focus an unflinching resolve that rises above emotion. Anger and hurt, though justified, are distractions in the pursuit of what's rightfully yours. As you consider the options before you, think of justice as the force that reclaims what they sought to take, returning balance to what they threw into disarray. The law doesn't bend for pleas or regrets. It stands impartial, ready to weigh their actions against the scales of accountability. With the measured strength of the law on your side, their illusions of evasion begin to crumble. The path forward may lead to courtrooms and legal documents where their betrayal will be dissected under the light of scrutiny. They may try to weave excuses or hide behind facades, but in the face of justice, no mask can remain intact. Their intentions, their actions, all will be exposed. Each decision laid bare as evidence of their intent to deceive. 
It is not vengeance that drives this path, but a deep-seated need for truth and the restoration of what they so brazenly tried to take. Each step, each legal maneuver strengthens your stance, casting their actions in the stark clarity of consequence. The very foundation they sought to disrupt will become their undoing. The authorities, those silent witnesses to truth and consequence, will not be swayed by emotion or elaborate excuses. What they thought was a simple betrayal of trust will now unfold as a legal reckoning, a spotlight on their wrongdoing that no shadow can conceal. They may feel untouchable now, but justice has a reach far longer and deeper than they anticipated. It is not quick, but it is unrelenting, moving with the patience of inevitability. In pursuing legal recourse, you align yourself with the resolute force of justice, reclaiming the rights they try to violate. This process, while arduous, serves as the highest form of vindication. They will face what they try to escape, feeling the weight of each misstep, each act of greed, tightening around them like a closing vice. Justice moves forward, with or without fanfare, ensuring that balance is restored, and you stand empowered, secure in the knowledge that truth, once armed with the law, cannot be evaded. Their unraveling has begun. The illusion they once cloaked themselves in is disintegrating, thread by deceitful thread, exposing them in their raw, unguarded truth. People are pulling away, as if from a smoldering fire, sensing the charred ruin beneath the mask they so carefully maintained. What once passed as charm now reveals itself as manipulation. What once was camaraderie now feels tainted, hollow, repelling those who once stood by them. They find themselves alone, the crowd thinning as their karmic debt begins its relentless call. The financial losses hit with the force of a storm, uprooting their carefully constructed world. Their actions have stripped them of security, turning every asset into a liability, every investment into a bitter reminder of what they tried to take. Money, the currency of their ambition, now drains from their grasp like water slipping through clenched fists, leaving behind only the harsh reality of consequence. The choices that once felt so clever now reveal themselves as traps they set for themselves, binding them to the ruin they tried to escape. They thought themselves untouchable, yet here they stand, stripped bare by the very ambitions that once fueled them. Each day is a reminder of what they've lost. Those who once saw them as a friend, a confidant, now glance their way with suspicion or disdain, leaving them in a world echoing with their own isolation. Their attempts to mend the cracks only deepen them, for sincerity cannot be faked, and truth cannot be outrun. The silence grows thicker around them, each word and gesture from others a stark reminder of the trust they shattered. Even in familiar places, they find themselves unwelcome, no longer the person they once pretended to be, but a shadow-haunting spaces they can no longer fill. This isolation is their self-imposed exile. Friends and allies no longer answer calls or return favors, cutting ties as if to cleanse themselves of the taint left by association. Every bridge they thought they'd fortified with charm and favor is now burned, every ally lost. What they took from you is nothing compared to what their choices have taken from them. They are left to wander a wasteland of their own making, with the bitter taste of loneliness lingering, a constant companion that grows heavier with each passing day. And as their world crumbles, they confront the inescapable truth that karma spares no one. Their misdeeds have returned like specters, haunting their steps, breaking down the walls they built to shield themselves. What was once ambition now reveals itself as hubris, and each consequence they face is a mirror held up to their own deception, a reflection of the path they willingly chose. They are no longer the orchestrator, but the subject of a downfall orchestrated by their own hand, watching helplessly as the life they knew disintegrates under the weight of their choices. Chosen ones, hear this truth. Everything they took from you, every ounce of trust, every stolen opportunity, every fragment of what was rightfully yours, will find its way back to you. In the silent, unseen workings of justice, nothing is overlooked. The scales that have tilted under the weight of their betrayal are already recalibrating, turning against them with relentless precision. They, who sought to rewrite the script of loyalty and deceive you into silence, 
will now face the undeniable repercussions of every action. There is no escape, no corner dark enough to conceal them from the karmic debt they have accrued. Stand firm in your power. The calm you embody now, in refusing to react in anger, is a force stronger than any retaliation could achieve. While they tremble under the unraveling of their deceit, you remain rooted, watching as the universe holds them accountable in ways they could never anticipate. Anger, though tempting, is an energy they don't deserve from you. Instead, cultivate patience, for it is patience that allows karma to fully unfold. Justice has been set into motion, and its reach is long, pulling everything into balance as it returns what is rightfully yours. They will face their consequences, not because you demanded it, but because truth demands it. In this moment, you rise above, no longer weighed down by the weight of their betrayal. You are no longer tethered to the drama they created, but instead elevated by your refusal to fall into their web of lies. With every day that passes, their hold weakens, their lies dissolve, and your integrity stands untarnished. Trust that the truth, quiet but enduring, has always been on your side. You have chosen to rise, to meet this challenge with composure and strength, knowing that justice is not just on your side, but actively unfolding around you, layer by layer. And now, with this clarity, you have a story worth sharing. There are others who walk a path of uncertainty, who may feel isolated in the face of betrayal, unaware that they too possess the same power to rise. Share your story, not to relive the pain, but to illuminate the resilience that brought you here. Let your words reach those who need to hear them, those who seek to move beyond deception and reclaim what was taken. Show them the strength of silence, the wisdom of patience, and the assurance of karmic justice that awaits those who act with integrity. You are not only a survivor of this betrayal, you are a guide for others, a reminder that justice, though it may move quietly, moves with a force that is undeniable and exact.